Friday purchases from Diamond Art Club. As you can see, Maui is back on the bed, but he is giving me a little bit more space. But for this video, this is gonna be all about Chuck. These are all my Chuck Pinson purchases from Diamond Art Club during their Black Friday sale. So we'll see how long he stays here because they're gonna be big. First one is called Call of the Wild. It's a square, 93 by 70 centimeters. So let's get this open. So really quickly, Diamond Art Club's Toolkits for Square Diamond Painting comes in this translucent bag resealable with a clear boat, one skinny four placer. Sorry, my hands are like super dry and you can see that it's kind of gross. I apologize for that. A blue diamond painting pen, handful baggies. I can pull them out without them going everywhere. Handful of baggies. Um, blue squishy for your pen. A pair of black super sharp tweezers. And two plates of heart shaped wax. All right. So that's the toolkit. And it's going to be the same toolkit for all four diamond paintings I'm showing today. So I won't show you this kit four times. So I'll put this all back in here. All right. Also comes with this little sticker and a giant sticker. Tells you the name of the painting, the artist's name, artist rendering of the picture, and your key. So this has 55 colors with two AB colors. All right, let's get into the canvas. Hope you guys are all doing well. Doing pretty good. I got a bunch of people working in my house right now, so I'm trying to stay out of the way. So rolling this back to get it flattened. This is a poured glue canvas and Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening, but for the sake of time, I'm going to roll this back. And we've got Maui leaving, or he's at least moving up higher in the bed, so he's out of the way. So that's good. He probably knew what was coming. So here it is, Call of the Wild by Chuck Pinson. It's a square and it is giant. And this looks great. So, once again, Diamond Art Club has the key on both sides of the canvas with a clear cover. Thumbnail at the bottom with all your information. And let's take a look at the drill field. So, no problems there. Okay, we also get a step-by-step -step brochure on how to diamond paint. And the drill. Here it is. Call it the wild two of one. So the squares look pretty good to me. But like I said, you never really know until it gets, until you place it on the canvas. I've done four Chuck Pinson's from Diamond Art Club already, round and square. And I'm going to tell you that I've had no issues. They all come out great, I think. DAC's rendering of Chuck Penson paintings are really good. And it just translates really well into diamond painting. So now it's the first one. Here's the second bag. And as you can see with the squares, no divots, no rough edges, no visible trash. Here's one of the ABs right here. And if you are, un oh, look, and I got a round hitchhiker there. If you don't know what ABs are, it stands for Aurora Borealis, which is reminiscent of the Northern Lights. And what it is, is just an iridescent coating placed on your drills or diamonds or beads to make them sparkle just a little bit more. Think of it like an accent 
to your diamond painting a little bit goes a long long way but you know it's always fun to work with pretty beads like that so and then having a lot isn't an issue either so there you go so that's that call it the wild by chuck pinson now let's move on Okay, next up, I got Inspiration of Spring Meadows, also by Chuck Pinson, 93 by 70 centimeters. I think that was the same size as the one before. So let's get into this. It's a square. So don't be intimidated by squares, guys. Um, my very first diamond painting before I knew there were even differences was a square. And yeah, it takes a little bit longer toolkit don't need to see that but you know I, I love the result I feel like square diamond paintings are sparklier here's a small sticker and it's just a lot more satisfying a place at least to me it is so here's the big sticker sheet 54 colors with two ABs all right let's get into it. I do always pop that first with the brochure. Let's get this on the way and roll this back. So Diamond Art Club's canvases is has a very soft, velvety, linty feel to it, which I think um, everyone just loves it because of the feel. But here it is. Look at all the purple. Inspiration of Spring Meadows. So awesome. And once again, key on both sides of the canvas. You've got your thumbnail. And let's focus in on this deer. Sorry. Really clear. So, let's place this back. And let's look at the drills. So, their drills are labeled in case you like to store your beads separately from your canvas, which I do. All oh, these colors look great. And the squares look pretty good to me, too. I think I see the AB, it's like a peachy color. And you can see the iridescence on it. There's this side. Mm, last side. So, no, that's just a purple. Here's the second bag. It's two of two. Look at these colors. They look great. And here's the... Do I see it? Nope, never mind. It looks iridescent through my viewfinder, but... I know the second AB's in one of these bags somewhere. And there you go. This is Inspiration in Spring Meadows of Spring Meadows. All right. Going on to our third one. The Golden Valley by Chuck Pinson. 93 by 70 centimeters. You know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking all these are the same size. Yeah. All four of Chuck Pinson's Black Friday releases from Diamond Art Club are all 93 by 70 centimeters. So all big paintings. And if you do all four, since they're the same size, you could basically, you can set up a gallery wall if you want. That would work out well. So, same toolkit. Tiny sticker. Giant sticker. 53 colors, two ABs. Look at how beautiful this looks, the Golden Valley. I love the, I guess you wouldn't call that a cottage. It's huge, but I, I can't think of a different word for it. Love that in the barn. Is that a well? Really pretty. 
So let's take a look at the canvas. Chuck Pinson. I've always been a big landscape person. And, you know, it started the same as with everybody else. It started with Thomas Kincaid. You know, I mean, there's no other landscape artist or painter of light that comes to mind for most people than Thomas Kincaid. Here's the brochure. But, you know, I'm starting to like Chuck Pinson a lot more. And um, I think his evokes a lot more feeling than Thomas Kincaid ever did for me. But here it is. Look at that. The last one was very purple. This one's more golden. Love all the detail in it. So once again, port glue canvas with a clear plastic cover. You got the key on both sides. Thumbnail on the lower left. And let's focus in. Look, we got ducks. Look at the drill field. Really clear. And our horses. This looks like a great canvas. Lots of confetti, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just looking at it now, there is a ton of confetti. But once again, don't be intimidated by squares or confetti. You know, I mean, once you're done, your end result's gonna be awesome. Just take your time. This isn't a race. We're not competing. You're, you're gonna love it. So here are our drills. Square. These look great. I love how all these colors just complement. I actually can't wait to work on these, but a lot of canvases in Q. And here it is. Here's the AB. It's actually an orange, light orange color that you use in the sky somewhere. Here's the second batch. And in case you're wondering how I choose which canvas to work on, I've assigned all my canvases a number and I would do them one at a time. I never have more than one canvas going in the same time. Here's the second AB, the light yellow. And um, when it comes time to pick a canvas, I just go to Google and get the random number generator, have it pick me a number between one and whatever my last number is on my list. And whenever number it pulls up is what I use, what I do next. All right, so here it is, the Golden Valley. Last but not least is Vibrant Italy, Chuck Pinson, 93 by 70 centimeters. That's a lot of detail. Okay, so let's open this up. You guys are still hanging in there. Thank you so much. I always wonder who's hung in and listened to my stream of consciousness. All right, looks like my toolkit had opened up here, but no biggie. Enter this up. You close it, same toolkit as before. We got our little sticker and we got our big sticker. Here it is. Doesn't that look awesome? Anyone ever visited this part of Italy? I don't think I have. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not quite sure which part of Italy this is, but this looks so pretty with all the different color buildings. 53 colors, two ABs. Let's get into the canvas. So, oh, this already looks pretty cool. I know I'm 
I'm pumping you guys. Got our brochure. And there we go. Look at this. It's kind of tinged yellow a little bit. I feel like it's almost like it's capturing, I think, what some photographers like to call the golden hour. You know, that last hour or two before sunset when you can get great natural lighting and get great pictures out of it. At least that's what it makes me think of. Or maybe it's daybreak. I can't tell. But it has that sort of yellow golden tone as if it's that time of day. But here you go. Check out all the detail. And good amount of color blocking paired with confetti. So if you kind of like a little variety, this one may be for you. Once again, key on both sides. Thumbnail at the lower left. And then let's take a peek at the drill field. If I can get this to lay flat. Looks great. And let's take a peek at the drill. Here's Vibrant Italy, two of one. These look great. No visible trash, no dimples or all smooth edges. It's the back. Here's the inner side. 53 colors, you guys. That's a lot. So here we go. Two of two. Oh, can I see the AB? Oh, it's right here. This light yellowy. You can see the iridescence on it. Here's the inner side. Here's a good look at the backs of these squares. Looks pretty good to me. But once again, you never know until you start placing them on your canvas. And there you go. And that's it. That is Vibrant Italy by Chuck Pinson. And we've reached the end of part two of my Black Friday purchase from Diamond Art Club. You made it this far in the video. I thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind considering giving me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay guys, stay tuned for part three. Thanks a lot. Bye now.